Hi, I'm Andrew Marty. I'm an Obsidian user and a follower of PKM Processes. I've been a part of the Leaking Your Thinking community. And I've been a user of Obsidian for almost exactly two years. So this short video is an overview of my PKM process built on Obsidian. I started this process to really help me retain and make use of the content I interact with every day. I'm an avid reader but I wasn't making use of the knowledge that I was coming into contact with. I was dumping too many notes into Evernote, never to be touched again. So being exposed to PKM and Obsidian really has changed the way that I interact with my ideas and also improved my output. There are three main parts to my process and Frankly, this is a simplified version of the ENCODE model that uh, comes from Nick Milo and the LYT community. So I've simplified that, and to me, there are three main pieces of my PKM process. And the first is really just starting with every day building the habit of creating daily notes. It becomes a progression. And frankly, it builds momentum of these daily notes every single day, making sure I'm capturing something from, really, I think of it as a, as a river of content that uh, I'm, I'm always exposed to every single day, whether it's a book I'm reading, whether it's a podcast, a magazine article, Right? Anything that I interact with, it's part of this river of content that I'm always exposed to. And the daily note to me is a, it's a repeatable, consistent mechanism to capture what's important from this river of content. Okay? So every day, there's a daily note that I create which captures a little bit of what I think is most intriguing and most interesting to me from this river of content. Let me show you an example. So for me, the key engine to build momentum within Obsidian is the daily note. So every day I have a daily note, I can get to it within the click of a button, and there's a consistent structure to that. So just a daily log, which could be anything, um, some to-do items, any ideas that pop in my head, things that I learned, so this is the same structure every single day, and I do modify this structure occasionally. Um, so at the 1st of September, I was out of town, uh, also listening to this book. These are my thoughts and observations about that and some ideas that I'm working on. Um, I also, here's another example from the 6th. Again, additional ideas, things I read on Twitter. I was also working on a cohort um, at the time, and here are some of the images, so I can bring in images and bring in different ideas of concepts that are on the top of mind. And within Obsidian, you can even do images. This is a drawing of my workflow, workflow process, and again, addition, additional ideas. So I do this every single day, and I begin to collect different ideas. Okay, the next key part for me is once these notes are created, you need to review them on a regular basis. And this is so important, right? There's a, there's a process of connecting these concepts together. And so when in the process of me creating these daily notes, over time, certain ideas emerge. And those are known in the PKM world as atomic notes. It could be um, a concept, an idea that really resonates with me and something that I want to make sure I keep and I continue to engage with. So there's a connect, there's a process of connection that occurs on a regular basis where you take and look at your daily notes and you bring these into atomic notes. And then finally on top of that what I think to me has been a recent revelation is bringing the atomic notes together into different maps of content. So these are higher order notes which contain 
a variety of different ideas on key topics. Uh, and, and they're topics that are really important to you. So for me, I've been thinking and reading a lot about creativity. So that warrants its own map of content. Um, I've been thinking and reading a lot about musical bands like the Beatles and the Grateful Dead. Those have also warranted their own map of content. But what happens is from that river of knowledge that you're exposed to from your daily notes, those come together into atomic notes and then they populate different maps of content. Let me show you an example of that. So what I have here is a library of the key topics that I'm interested in, interested in and have warranted their own map of content. And this came right out of my participation in the Linking Your Thinking cohort, where this idea of, think of it as a library, and you should group your map, maps of content into different libraries. So you can see these are the topics that are important to me and that either I have enough content to warrant a map of content or it, um, it's content that I eventually want to populate into a map of content. But I'm going to highlight a, one that I've been working on now, which is creativity. So go directly in that. And, and what this is, is a collection of these different atomic notes and concepts that I've read about. And really the beauty and power of Obsidian is it's so easy to bring these links together so you can connect these ideas. So I'm thinking first about you know, different definitions. There's so many definitions of what creativity is. So I can link back to these different sources. There's different types of creativity, the purpose and the process. Again, you can make this very visual. So this becomes a living document, a living source of your ideas and your thinking and new ideas and new concepts that really enrich your ideas and thoughts around creativity. Okay, let's come back to this image here. And the, to me, the third key part of this process is really sharing, right? Once you have these maps of content and you look at them, you realize, wow, there, there's a lot of information. There's a lot of ideas there. And from these map of contents, then, these begin to become sources of a variety of different types of output. So I've used maps of content to help populate different blogs. The other day, I, I gave a speech about the power of creativity. And that was enriched and really populated directly from content that came from the map of content on creativity that you saw. So it's, it's really exciting to take this river of knowledge, right? All the things that I've been exposed to and with a little bit of daily discipline, right? Some of my daily notes are full of content. Sometimes there's nothing in there, but there's every day and most days I do populate these daily notes with some ideas these daily notes then rise into atomic notes and maps of content. And then in turn, these become the sources of different blogs, speeches, tweets, presentations that become part of my sharing process. So this is a quick overview of my process. Thanks for listening.